Hello everyone, Bernard Ma here, author of the book Generative AI in Practice. Today we're diving into the topic that sounds like it's, co it's coming straight out of a science fiction movie. The difference between generative AI and artificial general intelligence or AGI. Let's start with generative AI. You've probably heard about it or you might even have used it. It's the technology behind those super realistic tech and images that seem like they were created by humans. In essence, generative AI is like a very talented parrot. It can mimic complex patterns, create content, and sometimes even astonish us with something that looks like flashes of genuine creativity. But here's the kicker, it's all in illusion. Despite its capabilities, generative AI doesn't really understand what it is creating. It operates by crunching data and predicting the next best word or pixel based on what it is fed. So if you ask it to write a poem about love, it's not digging into its non-existent feelings, but rather pulling from a vast database of related words and phrases used by humans. Now let's switch gears to artificial general intelligence or AGI. AGI is the holy grail of AI research. It's the concept of a machine that could perform any intellectual task that humans can do. So imagine an AI that could reason, solve problems, plan, learn and think abstractly, underpinned by an ability to truly understand and interact with the world. While generative AI can write a convincing text on global economics, it can't handle your taxes or decide the best economic policy for a country. AGI, on the other hand, would not only understand the complexity of economics, but would potentially innovate solutions that no human has thought of yet. So why is this distinction important? Well, while generative AI is making impressive strides within its niche, it operates under significant limitations. It doesn't actually understand anything. AGI, though still theoretical, represents a future where AI could actually participate in just about any domain of human expertise. And while we're not there yet, the journey towards AGI is filled with fascinating possibilities and yes, plenty of ethical questions and challenges. So the next time you see an AI written poem or a piece of art, appreciate the technology, but remember there's no AI poet or artist behind it, just complex algorithms doing what they're trained to do. As for AGI, well, that's a story for another day and a day that people are equally eagerly awaiting or dreading. Thank you for joining in. If you enjoyed this exploration into the brains of our future AI companions, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my book, Generative AI in Practice. Until next time, keep thinking big and embracing the future.